We made it really nice down here. No, it is nice. So this is one of my favorite bays. This is the steel bay. You can only shoot handguns at it, and it has to be over a certain caliber. Okay. So that it's flashback. It's gotta have, basically, it's got to have enough power to knock to hit the target. Okay. And knock it down and not send fragments back here. But even so, this oh okay, yeah, right here, right between your feet. This is why we wear eye protection. Oh wow. That would not be good in so your that's eye. The key, that's the metal that's the copper jacket around the lead bullet. So that hits. You want this on. You might feel a little flick, but if it hits your corner, you'll have a really bad day. Oh, I've scratched a cornea before. Yeah. It sucks. It's hot and contaminated. And... Yeah. No, we're, we're, we're past that. Wear eye protection. So yeah, this is my favorite base. This right here is the firing line. No loaded weapon goes past this line. It stays this way, pointed there. Say so that. So you okay? You don't go past this line. Okay. With a loaded weapon. That way everybody's nice and safe and all that fun stuff. Okay. So this is one of the ones we got set up for the competition later. Okay. To the end. Yeah. Very pretty here now that all the stuff's starting to grow on. Oh yeah. Not all dry and dead. I know. It's, it looks good. Very tranquil. Morning. These little things actually do work pretty good. What? Well, if they. Yeah, it's like I can hear it, but there's not the... Yeah. This is the first time I've used these ones. I haven't tried them out before. If I'm not shooting in the steel bay, this is my favorite bay. You already have a favorite bay. Yeah. Well, just because the sound dampening is a little better because of the hill. Ah. The only reason. <laughs> okay. goes up, check your weapons, make sure they're all empty, magazines out, no chance, if you can, lock them back. No chance of guns going off while that flag's up, because when that flag's up, it means it's okay to go out there. Okay. It means we can change our targets, we can put up new targets, check our shots, whatever. Okay. You know, red flag means range is hot. Don't go past in there. Okay. Just, you know, be aware. So if there's... Sometimes there'll be multiple groups on the range. You know, sometimes we might only have this little area. We have three more shooters oh, okay. in the same bay. So if that's the case, you know, you kind of look down, check, see how everybody else is doing, say, hey, can I check my target? Everybody cold? All right, cold flag, white flag going up. Make sure everybody, make sure you got everybody's attention. Because I mean, everybody's wearing something to keep them from being able to hear, so. Right. Make sure you get their attention. Make sure you get a positive. Okay, range is cold. Go out, do whatever. Come back. As soon as you're not going to be out there anymore, just go ahead and change it back to hot. Okay, range is going hot. Everybody's hot. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so just so you know, if when, when it's just me and you, it's not that big of a deal. Because, you know, we're going to be pretty close, making sure we're not doing something stupid. But when there's other people, you have to be pretty conscious. 
Just, you don't want to get shot, you know? No, not particularly. children. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to deal with paper anymore. I like to put them so a little bit down. It's kind of unrealistic to shoot at something my height. Fair. You want to attack them on there but they're pretty good. That they don't come flying off on you. Mm -hmm. Good. Damn, all the six guys, you know? Kind of like. Me. She talking crap? She said, don't shoot my eye out. I'm like, it's not the Christmas story, okay? That's about three. Okay, now we're done going out there. Okay. So range is hot. Now we can play that. You'll hear them preach that always make sure your guns are pointed down range at all times. Well, that's the one rule I do know. Yeah, one of my favorite, one of my favorite uh, sayings is "keep your booger hook off the trigger until you're ready to use it." <laughs> <laughs> you don't pick your nose. Everybody does. Everybody. Yes, we. Do. Everybody. Maybe not on a regular, but every now and then you got something up there. Oh, uh, of course you do. You got to get it out. Josiah has been rubbing them on the wall. This is the things you get to look forward to when you have kids. Oh, and never gets to have this. What is that? Trauma kit. So if you get shot, you don't bleed out in the time it takes for the ambulance to get here. Same with me. Fifteen bucks on Amazon. Got low Amazon. You're very good. Help. Has bandages, quick clot, and the tourniquet is not in here, but that's okay because we're both wearing belts. But Normally I'd have a tourniquet in there and just forgot to grab it out of my backpack. Yeah. Things, that, things that it never hurts to have, you know what I mean? Yep. Okay. What have you shot before? I can't remember. That was 20 years ago. I remember shooting something like that. Uh, and something a little bit smaller. And then I remember doing a shotgun. The shotgun was my favorite, but I had a nice version. Yeah. 
Yeah, I remember she was like that. So this is Sarah's carry gun. Hmm? This is Sarah's carry gun. Oh, okay. And this is mine. That's why they're. This person's fine. Yeah, I do your own. You do. And she puts up with you, so. Okay, so. Might as well start, since it's been a while, we'll start with Great Grandma's 22. Great Grandma. Yeah. A little bit of family heritage right there. That's pretty good. You can tell it's old. It's very, this is a very, very old firearm. This is, this is my second oldest one. I have a rifle that my brother bought me when I was nine, I want to say, nine or ten. It's a little 22, bolt action, and it is older than dirt. That's kind of cool. This one is an older style, single action. Spin the cylinder. Not the most effective way to load something, but it's a very solid design. Still working? Exactly. Oh, but if you spin too far, you've got to go all the way around to get the bullet. Because it locks. I actually love this little gun. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so that is live, it's loaded. It is not cocked. Okay. You have to pull the hammer back in order to make it work. So that's how that works. That's basically that's the safety on this. Okay. Is the fact that you have to physically cock the hammer every okay. time. Shoot oh, wow. it. Every time. Okay. Let's go over here. Let's go over there. So, it's got a little bit, you know, it's an older style grip. You get it, kind of get your fingers up here, and then you want to, boom, finger on the trigger. No, that this is a fun. This is fun. This is a really fun gun to shoot. If you don't like noise and recoil and all that fun stuff, this doesn't do any of that. All right. It literally doesn't move in your hand. <laughs> Good. You're having fun. Right? You're having more fun than me. I love. Yeah, I love guns, dude. I love getting people into guns. All right. So. Booger hook off the off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. All right. So like this. Okay. And then just that back. Boom, there you go. And you can, on these, I would, if you want to shoot it with two hands, just kind of. Like this? Just kind of cup it, yeah. Just kind of like your, they, they call it the teacup. The teacup. The, the teacup okay. and the saucer. All right. And that's, it's an older style of shooting for this style of gun. Okay. And then, then you can, there you go. All right. See? I don't know what I shot. <laughs> I don't know either. I, I legitimately don't know where it went. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't think it's a target. It's all right, don't worry about it. But I can edit that out. Okay, so instead of like this, okay, your body posture was, bring it out. Bring it out. Okay. Yeah, it's a more like, like this. Yeah, that's a more steady. And you're really gonna you're gonna focus here. Okay. You can, or not not fully, but you want this and this to line up. Oh, I see. Okay. That's your sight picture. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay, now that you have your sight picture. Okay. You're going to put it where you want it. All right. And then you can focus on where you want it. Okay. Keeping that sight picture in that kind of blurry right. it's kind of reference. Blurry. Okay. And then you go ahead and... Yeah, just tuck your phone down. There you go. No idea. So you're just left of the eight. Left enough of the eight. Oh, okay. There you go. Wow. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, it's so small. Yeah, it's a very, very, very small bullet. Yeah, there's nothing. It doesn't. But really so, kick back. so you know, an AR-15. I've heard of it, but that's the same diameter bullet. So why do people make such a big deal about those guns? It's got more powder behind it. Oh, okay. it goes faster, but it's not some super big death bullet. <laughs> that's the size of the hole. Wow, and people make a big deal about it. They're hot. Don't don't get me wrong though. They're highly effective. Right. 
if you get the right kind of ammo, it'll blow a softball out the back. Wow. But that's the caliber. They're just about the same caliber. Oh, wow. Because it's a the 223. So it's a 0. .223. Okay. This is a 0. .22. Okay. Yeah. So it's a 003 difference in the diameter of the bullet. Fun fact. Something you never Fun fact, yeah. No, and a lot of people don't know. Oh. Yeah, so. so we should have got three shots down. But so when you're gonna shoot, this one not so much. On okay. the other ones, you want a more aggressive body posture. Okay. This isn't gonna work. Stable. Okay. This is stable. I'm okay. putting, you know, I'm supporting the gun okay. a little bit better. So then I can see where I want it. Okay. So I can easily, it's out there. I know where it's at. I put it on there. That's where I want it. Point and shoot. Just with a little bit of focusing in between. Focus? Yeah. Okay. Good kid. Should I have two more shots? All right. So, a little more. I mean, it doesn't have to be like no or right. anything, but so you know, just you want not... a positive to where you know. Basically, I think one of the person says, "If you, you say, put the gun down, hold it, hold out your hands like you're holding it." Okay. You know, so if you're, if I can, and you kind of do yeah, that, then that's not going to work. Then you're not in a good position. You want to be a little bit, like a little this. bit aggressive. So if I, oh wow, different. You'd be more comfortable. You're not. You have more control without the effort. You, you're not. Yeah. You're. Makes so sense. that's kind of the body. This reasoning for the body posture behind shooting. Go ahead. I'm gonna load these. I have no idea what I hit. Um, actually, I think I found your first shot and your second shot, or your third shot. I mean, oh, okay. You're in the same. You're shooting very center, which is good. You're drifting a little bit up and down, but you're staying centered, which means your point of aim is pretty darn good. All right. Oh, I guess that's it. Oh, you shot more than I thought. This kind of ammo you can store pretty loose, it's no big deal. So, so that's that's the bullet. Oh, that's small. Very cool. Now what these are called, they're called a rim fire. I'll show you why. Oh, so it doesn't kick these out. I knew we were missing one. I'm pretty good at keeping track of how many shots I shot. <laughs> uh, you are. It's, it's also called a single six, so it's supposed to have six bullets. Oh. Okay. So that's why it's called a rim fire. See that? Okay. That's the striker pin. So when this. You see this little guy right here? Yeah. So that's your striker pin in there. Okay. So when this goes down, it hits that, punches the gunpowder in there. into the primer. Okay. There's a primer that is kinetically triggered. When it gets that, because the, the gunpowder you can hit with a hammer all day long, sure. it's not going to do anything. Okay. You hit the primer, spark, boom. So they call that a rimfire cartridge. Okay. Because this is just one, one jacket of brass. Gun or primer, gunpowder, and then a bullet pressed on top. So this is the actual bullet. This is a bullet. This is a cartridge. Okay. So we got that. And then the difference is on all these. This is a center fire. Okay. Because the primer is this case right here. So you've got your, your bullet cartridge, 
and then you've actually got a primer cap that's pressed into this. Okay. That holds your primer. So like these, these pretty much aren't reusable. You can recycle them, but that's about it. This, I can actually collect, and you'll see, I'll actually get all of the brass from off of the ground. Okay. One, because it's range etiquette, always pick up your brass. And even if you just throw it away, but always pick up your brass. Okay. But I can actually take this home and then I'm saving it because eventually I plan on reloading. Okay. So I'll, all I'll do is I'll take this empty, it'll just be this, you know, just this part, similar to those. And I'll pop that out, run this through a cleaner cycle. And then I can actually reuse this piece of brass. Oh, wow. I can put another cap in it, load the appropriate amount of gunpowder. You know, they have little measuring things. And then press another bullet in it. Oh wow! And they can cool. use it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, but yeah, that's that's the difference between a center fire. So when you see it, the the pin will be somewhere on this pad. Okay. Right in the middle. And if it's a well constructed gun, it should be pretty much right straight in center. If it starts moving a little bit, then you might have some problems. So you can actually check your brass and make sure your gun's doing good. Oh okay. Yeah. What did you do with guns? I don't think you like, you love. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay. So that, what, I'm, what you're seeing me do here is you kind of want to be careful doing it. I shot this gun since I was a little, so I'm pretty comfortable around it. But I'm pulling this, taking the slack, trigger, and letting it down, and then letting the trigger go forward. So it's not actually striking the hammer. Or it's not the hammer's not actually striking the pin. Okay. I'm just pulling it to rest. So I'm decocking it. Okay. Knock. Interesting. Okay. So it's not, now it's not it's firing, even if it's gone. You know. So if I wanted to shoot, oh never mind. Not safe, and it's not sitting here because on this gun, I mean that's a pretty. It's a close trigger. It's actually. It's actually one of the better triggers I have. <laughs> yeah, there's not much play. Because there's not much play at all. There's not much, like, what they call it, they call it creep. There's not a lot of creep before creep. you actually engage. And that's because it's a, you cock it like this. And the other ones, you're kind of doing some of the cocking process with the trigger. Like with my wife's revolver, all of the cocking process is in the trigger. Oh, wow. Because it's a hammerless, or an internal hammer. Okay. So you can't actually physically access the hammer. Okay. So this one, you know, you do that, and then you got a very little, very clean, crisp yeah. trigger pull. Snaps like that. Yeah. Go ahead. Let me try to load it. Sure. So just pretty much get that centered. Grab one and toss it in. Just mm. press it flat. Roll it over until there you go. It's pretty, it's pretty functional. getting warmer in here. Oh uh, yeah. It's like a mixture well it's like a mixture of cold and hot. Welcome to the valley. Uh, uh, sometimes when I come down here in the summer you're just drenched. Oh, Sitting yeah. here in the bay oh, yeah, there's no the wall behind you. Okay, so now they're all done. Spin it, you're, you're all good? Yep. Close that. Okay. You're good. That's it? That's it. Okay. You good to shoot again. So so that it's easier to see, aim for that eight on the bottom. Eight on the bottom. That way if you punch through, you should really be able to see the, the bullet. It should be pretty obvious where you hit. Oh, okay. So yeah, shoot, shoot for right around there. Make that your focus point. Okay. No idea where it went. <laughs> uh, I think I know where it went. Okay, so your first shot, 
went right on the top left of top. the red circle. Oh, okay, I see it now. Your second shot was towards the bottom left of the on red the ins on the second ring. Oh, wow. Of the red circle. So what I'd imagine is it's what they call flinch. Flinching at the last second, and when this muzzle goes, when this muzzle goes, when you flinch, move. So if it's that little, that little bit over a couple feet, now you're, you know, quarter inch of twitch, you're up six inches. Makes sense? Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's probably what's happening is that, right? You're anticipating, which is good. That's, that's why you start on this. So you start on something smaller so you can get used to the anticipation without any consequences. Okay. To where, you know, you're not, it's not a kick. There's not really that much of a kick. So you don't have the, you know, on when we get up to the other revolver, it's a large cartridge. So you're it's going to kick. Yeah. Okay. You know, so that you all, it's almost, the flinch is almost justified, you know, cause you, you get ready and you're getting ready to control the kickback. The kickback. This one, you get, you get used to it without having to worry too much about that. So yeah, that's, so that's where you're, that's about where you're coming up to. But, oh, actually, real quick, sorry. But can you see what I was saying? How you're, you're very in line. Okay. Your, your shot grouping side to side is only about that wide. I guess that's good. It is. For, for I mean, for practically a first time shooter, that's very good. You know, sometimes they're feet to either side. Not even kidding. <laughs> wow. So, so yeah, all, all of that's, that's what I'm seeing right now is you're getting that little bit of that travel up and down, but you're, so you're getting your sight picture correct. That's what that's telling me. You're, you actually, you're lining up your sights like you're supposed to. That's good. All We didn't shoot that many. It was six. Was it yeah. six? It was six. I say, what you can do if you want to just check it. Okay. Is... No, it's not. They're not. No, it's not. It's something to be cautious of, not to be scared of. As long as that thing's down there, we're, we're safe. Okay. As long as that doesn't point at me or you, we're good. Totally fine all day. Nothing will ever happen. No. Sorry. Oh, no, it's good. No, you're doing good for sh shooting. I haven't scared you yet? Oh, heck no. no. You haven't pointed at me yet. That's good. As soon as you've pointed at me, we'll have a problem. Well, right. so just let me know whenever you want to try something else. Okay. And so to take these out, I push this little guy back. Oh yeah, I should have told you about the plunger. So yeah, you have to line them up. Yeah, just like that. Line up and then punch it out. Oh, there it goes. This is the, so this is a, that isn't a practical self-defense weapon. No, it's too big. That and it's, the cartridge is too small. It's just not, it's not a powerful enough round to stop somebody. There's not enough force, either the mass in the bullet or the force from the powder. It's just not enough for that. Okay. It's not practical. I mean, sure, you shoot somebody, it's going to hurt, but it's not going to stop them. That's a different story. 
That's a, what is this? This is a 38 special. Okay. So it's virtually the same diameter as a nine millimeter, which okay. is what my other two guns are. Okay. But it's got a lot more powder behind it and a heavier bullet up front. And so that'll stop somebody. So this, so this is Sarah's gun. It's theoretically she's supposed to carry all the time, but she doesn't and it really drives me insane. <laughs> the reason I like it for her is she hit somebody one time with this, they're probably not moving after that. Right. As long as she can hit them somewhere center mass, they are stopped. That's helpful. If they're wearing a lot of clothes, whatever, doesn't matter. They are not, they're not raping my wife. Right. They're not attacking her. They are, they're sitting over there where they should be. Exactly. This one's a little bit different because it opens from the side. It okay. has this little release lever here, pops open, and you feed it. And it's got the same same style of plunger, okay. except it racks them all out. Oh, okay. That little thing right there will grab the ends of the shells and pop them out like that. Very cool. Now, because of this little bitty barrel, I mean, how short the barrel is. It's not the most accurate gun, but from here to here, Perfect. Very easily. And it's, you can carry it. Yeah. Very cool. So, yeah, that's the. Yeah, this is much easier to yeah. handle than this thing. Well, this actually. This is so cool. Actually, this is. Well, I mean, as far as carrying. Yeah, not for carrying, not for shooting. This is actually harder to hold on to just because of the. The case there. And it's a polymer body revolver. So it's light. Nice and lightweight. Which, again, it's a carry gun. What it's for. It's not designed to be fun to shoot. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, you know, it's going to kick a little more because it's lighter. The heavier the gun is, the more recoil it absorbs itself. Okay. Less you have to control. Lighter guns, you feel more of the, you have to hold on to them. Okay. So, it's just a little, a little different. A little, just a little. Size is everything. Especially, it, it's even more fun if you're just out in the middle of nowhere and you're just shooting at the stuff. It's pretty darn fun. <laughs> like I like shooting at clay pigeons. Clay pigeons? Yeah, like the, the shooting discs for oh, okay. guys. I was like, shooting those are fun. I've never done that. You hit them right and they just go. Is that what all that orange stuff is? Yeah. That's definitely all it is. Huh? Alright. So I got a few on the red. Yeah, it's good. I'm getting better. As long as it's on target, honestly. You know, once you're getting used to it, and then you can kind of start. You know, for me, if I'm aiming at the red and I don't hit the red, I get annoyed with myself. Because I'm but I've been shooting for a long time. Right. I have no practical reason to not hit that red spot with a gun. Yeah. You know, so that's, and that's one of the things too. If you're going to shoot, it's about being proficient and making sure you know how to use it. Well, yeah. That's yeah. one of the reasons I haven't yeah. bought a gun or anything because I don't feel comfortable enough. I don't know enough we'll about change it. that. You know? Hmm? We'll change that. I can tell you're having a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. That's fine. And you're doing good. That makes it a lot more fun. <laughs> I don't have to lie to you, that's good. Well, I hope you <coughs> agree with me. I'm going to shoot a couple times. Okay. So you can get used to hearing the louder. Okay. And also, I just want to shoot. Well, so. yeah, you're getting, you're getting antsy. Yeah. You're just instructing. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm trying to get you more. <laughs> You're having a lot of fun. <gasps> now these things really work good. Good. I mean, you hear it, but it's not. Not like devastating. It's not that ring bird. What an awful spot to hang out if you're a bird. <laughs> Can't imagine it's fun. Maybe they're used to it. True. Maybe they're just deaf. Not... Or maybe, yeah. Oh, well, we're staying in the circle. There you go. You ready to change up? Mm. Sure, why not? Stretch off on this one since it's bigger and it's a lot heavier. Okay. So it's, it's an easy shooting gun. It's a really comfortable gun. Same bullet as the small as my other one. Okay. But that one's a little harder to shoot because it's smaller. Okay. Same thing I was talking about earlier. Right. Harder to hold on to. So this one's unloaded. You can kind of get used to this. Oh yeah, it is a little. It's. I actually it's got a nice weight to it. Yeah. I like that. It's really. It's a comfortable. Yeah, I can fit it better on my hand. Yeah. That's much, yeah, I like this. So this one's got a safety. Okay. So if it's, what'd you do? I stabbed my hand at work. <laughs> so this one's actually got a safety on it. Okay, so what, okay, where's, so it's ambidextrous. So you can use either, oh, I see. Either, either side I want to. So when it's red, it's, when it's red, it's, Okay. Okay. And this this is a um, this is a slightly more old school style as well, because it's got an exposed hammer. An exposed hammer on a semi-automatic rifle is kind of, or I mean, semi-automatic pistol is kind of old, not rare, but it's an older style. Yeah. Okay. Like 1911s have them. So. Yeah. So, but the, I like them because you can do, you know, a single stage trigger. So I can actually. Okay. A lot shorter or you can do a double action the single action is okay it's cocked i have one it performs one single action okay it fires double action is it's going to fire it's going to cock the hammer first oh i see and then it's going to fire oh okay so that's a is... double action oh. yeah. so if in a, or if it's racked back so when it's firing you're firing a single action Okay. So every time the slide comes back, it recocks the hammer, as well as loading another, another bullet. Okay. So then it's a then you're firing in single action. Okay. But if it's out, boom! I can fire in double action. Pull the hammer and fire. The gun. Very so, cool. Now you can't put the safety on. 
unless it's unsafe. <laughs> okay. So that's you know you, the only reason, only way you put the safety on is if it's got one in the chamber or if it's cocked. Okay. So, and then it's it's not gonna do anything. So you drop it. So this one takes a magazine, which unfortunately ten round magazine, which is disgusting. <laughs> so eighteen capacity. Okay. In other states. And hold 18 rounds, but California makes this each 10 rounds. Got a lot of California. But, so it's going to grab that round. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. And now it's in. I wish I could get that actually. It I, think set, I don't think it set that round all the way because I did it too slow. It is not designed to chamber slowly. It's designed to use the weight. To, oh, I see what you're saying. So, so now it's round is in. You put it on safety. Nothing's gonna happen. Doesn't matter how many times I pull that trigger. Now, if I put off safety, and it fires. There we go. want I can do the same thing as I did on that other one okay and drop it to a half cock okay now I call this a trigger safety now I've got all the poundage of having to pull the trigger all the way back as if it was fully decocked okay but I've been around live so I don't have to actually put I can't put on the safety now because it senses it's decocked so the safety is now in the weight of the trigger. Oh, I see. Okay. Because if it's at a super lightweight trigger, it can act, you know, say, God forbid, something gets in your holster, it can fire. You know, like if a stick gets snagged in your holster. Okay. If it's a super hair trigger, it can and fire. With this, I've got all that weight. Before it'll even do anything. Before it'll do anything. So my trigger pull, you look, look how much okay. longer it's going to take. I've got all that to pull it all the way back, and then now it's back into single action because it's loaded me another round. Okay. Very cool. Make sense? Yes. <laughs> there you go. Get it? Okay. Take it. Smack it in. This way, right? Yep. Bolt's fine. Just facing forward. What if I want to face in this way? Um, <laughs> turn the gun around. <laughs> okay, so it's in single action mode. And the safety is off. So you're on a slider. It doesn't have, it's it's cocked, but there's nothing in the chamber. Okay, currently. so I have to pull this back. Pull it from back here. Normal. That's, that's a little bit easier to pull it from back there. Oh, that? There you go. You're good. Okay. And this is going to have a lot more. So on this one, I suggest a little bit higher fire or gripping for your support hand. Okay. I suggest coming up. Like this? So this, so this finger guard you can actually wrap your other finger around it if you want. So like this? So you kind of, you don't even have to put this back here. Okay. So just kind of like... cup it on the side. Oh, like kind of like this? Yeah. Well, like All right. That. All right. And it's ready to go again, or so, yeah, no, it's ready to go again because it's, it's already cycled. Oh, I see. Okay. Cycled and put another one okay. back in there for you. Now, that little gap right there, yeah, you want that closed up. That's meant to kind of sit right in the meat of your to thumb. kind of control it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have no idea where it went. I do. Huh? I do. Where'd it go? Just wanted to know. Right above the X. It did? Yep. Damn. Not too bad then. So. I like this one. Uh-huh. Me too.
So you're hitting, you're destroying that nine. Okay. <laughs> Which is great. Uh, you know, you, like I said, you're still straight. Yeah. Is that, that one off flyer off to the left, the eight in the eight circle? Okay. That was actually me. Okay. And I was showing you the trigger pull. So okay. all your stop shots are still, I mean, literally, they're in the, actually, they might even be in the little three inch channel. So that's, I guess, it's major thumbs up. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's. Are you looking? I'm kind of looking right here. Are you looking on the top of this or are these dots lined up? I'm liking sure that these two line up. Does that make sense? This lines up with this. Okay, so it's in there and the dots are all right. kind of yeah. horizontal. Okay, that's, that's, how you, that's how you want to be. You're just flipping it down a little bit. You want to keep it a little, keep it sturdy. Okay. But don't try, don't, don't correct the, the recoil. Just let it do its thing? Let it recoil. Okay. All that matters is that you're nice and steady when you pull the trigger. Okay. Because in the time the recoil takes to affect the gun, the bullets already hit target. Oh, wow. So the recoil just affects you. It doesn't affect your shot. Oh, I didn't know that. You affect your shot with uh, correcting for the recoil. Wow. Okay. Yeah. There you go. You're right. You're right in the red. Boom! Just left of the X. There you go. Right, drop back down. Huh? Oh, okay. Done. Yeah. Oh. So, so turn over. That little button right there is the magazine release. No. Yes. Press it with your thumb, your shooting thumb. Oh. There you go. Pops the magazine right out. Nice. Yeah. That was very good shooting. Very first time using that. I like the weight. Legitimately. I like the weight. You more or less shot two three inch groupings. Up top and in the X. Nice. Yeah. So you can can you see now when you're flinching, you're hitting the nine. Oh, okay. When you weren't flinching, when you're they, they call it letting it surprise you. Okay. You're just be, you're just doing your thing. You're nice and smooth. You're just pulling the trigger. And then it goes bang. You're not making it go bang. You're just pulling that trigger. And then that trigger, by the time it, the tr you and your trigger do, the, do your thing, and that bang happens, it's already... It's already gone. As long as you do that part first, you're going to hit whatever you're pointing at. If you're, you know, if you're death gripping it and shaking like that, trying to keep it from moving. It's gonna move. It's gonna move. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll finish loading this one for you and then you can load that one. Okay. So I like to press my thumb down to where okay. it's a little bit below the collar, that little collar. Okay. That just makes it easier to push it in like that. Press it down, push, kind of push the end of it. Okay. And just push it in. It's a little stubborn, but that's because the you know the spring oh, yeah. feeds up. That one's low. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll get the hang of it. There you go. Oh yeah, it just takes it takes getting used to. The first one you don't have to worry about so much. You just kind of press it down. Oh, yeah. I see. And then the next one, you kind of give it a. Yeah, you're just kind of pressing it down and back. Pretty much all you're doing. Because so you want to like start that. seeding it before that collar. Right. Okay. Well, oh, this has got quite a bit of. Mm -hmm. If you got a loose spring, you'll end up having problems with feeding reliably. It won't want to put the. It won't want to load the next bullet in. Jeez. Ah, too dark. Yeah. There you go. Just getting the, yeah. the fill for it. Almost, I can almost guarantee you your thumbs are going to hurt from loading. Just the pads on your thumbs. Great. They'll get a little bit sore after a little while. Okay. It just takes good use to it. That's all. They do sell little speed loaders too, if you just hate loading. No, but. This is all part of the experience. Yeah. 
You know, like my father in law, he's got a little thing. He can just sit there. Oh, that's right. I forget he loves guns. Yeah. He's always posting videos on Facebook. Mm hmm. Which is why you love him. Yep. That's why we get along. Which is a good thing. See, I've already had two father in laws. Yeah. <laughs> just stop dying, you know? I think it's full, right? Look. How do I can tell? See that little marker? Oh, okay. See the 10? Okay. You see a little bit of brass. That's good. So it means it's at 10. Oh. So that's what those mean. Okay. So that for that, what that means is if I'm shooting, if I'm shooting drills, so okay. I'm bang, 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 bang. Okay. okay. I shot bang, bang, bang. How many did I shoot? Okay. Okay. So I know I can just check real quick reference. I've got that many rounds. If I want to just load, say if I'm doing shooting drills, I can load it and I can just double check. Oh, how many do I have this mag loaded to? Okay, I put five in it. Cause like when I'm doing it, sometimes I'll do a, um, a reload drill. So I'll load two in this, two in this. So I'll load this one. The other one will go in my pocket where I would carry the magazine. Okay. So I'll go bang, bang, drop, bang, bang. And I do it over again so that I get nice and smooth with that. Take a look. Oh, okay. So I get that muscle memory where I can load it every time. And then I look back, I'm already on sight. And so you just get used to it. You get used to I'm used to punching my gun out and knowing where I'm gonna point. If I want to point at that red one, I'm already there. So that's just the muscle memory. I mean, I'll come out on a Sunday morning a lot of times and go through a box. So one of these little boxes. So about 100 rounds, 150 rounds. It's a good dip. Doing stuff like that. But No, really it is. It, it honestly is. It's a nice, nice and quiet. No one's out here. It's you and got a focused task. That's really all. There you go. You're having a lot of fun. You want to do the further one? Or you want to keep shooting on this one? I can try it. Why not? Actually, go ahead and pulverize his head first. Okay. Yeah. I already shot, we just shot the red circle. Okay, so now I got to pull this back. No, you don't have anything? You don't have a mag oh. in there yet. There you go. All right. Now you got that in. Pull back. There you go. Got a live bullet. Ah. Yeah. There, you go. there we go. So yeah, there. I like to collar it up to where this is. You actually almost see, you can see where the slide is spitting grease on my hand. Okay. All right. So that's kind of, and then the thumb is right here. Okay. You want it kind of actually through, through your end. So, and then your support hand is just coming up here to support. Okay. So it's just kind of like that. Cupping it, keeping it where it's Not doing so good. Well, um, you just punched one solid hole <laughs> with three shots, so that's not bad. You just point an angle a little bit off, that's all. Drop your mag. It's oh. okay, so it's supposed to lock back like that. Okay. Okay. okay so, so it's locked back. Now load the other magazine in. Drop it in. And pull this lever down with your other thumb. All your controls should be you should function oh, okay. with this thumb. Okay. It's like I said, this is just supporting hand. Okay. It's just here to support. And it does, you know, it does the caulking, but other than that, pretty much all your functions are designed okay. to be done with one hand. Okay. That makes sense. But yeah, so it'll lock back like that so that you don't have to re-rack it. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. I'll get the hang of this eventually. Oh yeah. No, you're, seriously, you're doing really good. I don't like you enough to lie, so. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Just kidding.
good shooting. Rudy, too. You ready for shooting? Yeah. You hit it every time. That's good job. Right. Now you can load that one. Yay. I wonder how much we've caught on camera. Well, it's still recording. 55 minutes. Oh, five minutes? Huh? 55 minutes? Yeah, 55 minutes. Aren't we fun? Aren't we interesting? Basically. Yeah, I kind of grip it like that to help me. These are actually easier to load than my other ones, too. That's what's annoying. <laughs> I think you've done this a few times. Oh, once or twice. I'm also the weird kind of guy that does dry fire at home. Okay. So I'll sit there listening to a YouTube video or something doing this. I don't um, hide them. I'm proud. Um, I have a lot of issues too. I watch car stuff on YouTube all day. <laughs> Drives my wife nuts. She's like, how can you watch all that stuff? I said, how can you watch all that drama on TV? True. I don't care about Grey's Anatomy. I was watching that this morning and I'm like, Gross. like it, um, we watched The Star is Born last night. She watched it, I didn't. It was incredible. She said it was good too. It was an amazing movie, and I hated it. You hated it. It was a beautiful. It was one of the best shot movies I've seen. Legitimately, it Sorry. was good. You all right? Yeah, it's just that uh, my my glasses are killing my ears. Yeah, that's the downside of the muffs. But yeah, I'll make it work. Oh, it's better. There you go. But yeah, it was it was really 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 good. She said it was good. But I hated the ending. It killed me. Yeah, she said something like She cried. Yeah. Justifiable. Yeah. So, we watched Instant Family last night. Of course, I kids. Um, the language in there, I was surprised. Yeah? I was like, it wasn't, I knew it was PG-13. I just was, didn't expect that. It's kind of a kid. PG-13 has gotten worse. I was just like, wow. Okay. I mean, it had more cussing in it than the Blues Brothers. The Blues Brothers was rated R. Huh. Please tell me you've seen the Blues Brothers. Yeah. Okay. So it's been a while, but yeah. I don't know that movie. How odd. Yeah. I, I just, it wasn't. Then again, cussing isn't seen as bad anymore. That's true. But it just surprised me because it's a kid. You know, it's about kids. Yeah. Tone it down a little bit. It was funny, though. There were some funny parts. So. Yeah, I enjoyed the movie, but I also wish I hadn't seen it. It was a weird feeling. How I felt when I seen Perfect Storm. Piss me off. Piss me off. Uh, it did because it's like you're cheering for this guy, you know? Yeah. It just it just sucked, you know? The ending sucked. I'm like, come on. Come on. Yep. Uh, Alright. Let's see how you do whenever we increase the arch. No, I'm blind, right? Yeah. You said you had your contacts. I do. You're fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Maybe. Eh, we'll see. Good enough to shoot stuff. <laughs> Good range etiquette, too. Good. Good range etiquette, picking up the gun and moving it. Keeping it. Oh, well, what were you supposed to do with it? Exactly. <laughs> Sleep it Doesn't bed. always matter. I don't care. <laughs> this is gonna bug me too. Mm -hmm. I want stuff. Alright. Alright, so let's see if I can do this again. Right. And then I do this, right? Yep. That's that's called your slide lock. Slide lock, okay. Because it locks the slide. Okay, so you just 
It's cooling down. Yeah. Sweat. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what I even hit. Yeah. You're stay kind of on that. Left center mass. That's right where you're at. Okay. That's good. A little further away. Yeah. Yeah, that's natural for this for your spread to open up. Now when we get I'm gonna shoot actually, actually just load that mag, shoot mm -hmm. that one, and then we'll move to this. Okay. Shoot a couple through this. We'll try this one. Then we'll go down there and shoot steel for a little bit. Because that's really fun. Okay. That one's because you get to see you get to see the target impact and go down. Yeah, because I can't really... hear it. Okay. Oh, okay. So you shoot it, you hear a ping and it drops. So it's a little more that's what I do. I don't. I usually don't shoot paper. I like to shoot steel, unless I'm like actively like trying to work on something. Oh, I okay. Do you know, I really want to dial in my focus and make sure I'm shooting so so. Paper. It's good to learn, especially. Shooting these groups, you probably could have started shooting steel. Really? Because if you can hit the target and not, you know, I mean, you might not hit it every single time. I don't hit it every single time. Right. But you know, you can. You're close enough to where you'd probably hit that eight-inch piece of steel. Or like some people, like I was saying, they are so far that they don't know where they're shooting. Okay. So you got to kind of figure that out before you. <laughs> Otherwise, you just get frustrated trying to shoot and you don't know where it's hitting, you don't know why you're missing. You just know you're not hitting anything. <laughs> That's no fun. How you doing? I'm good. I'm relaxing a little bit. Yeah. I was a little tense. Yeah. I can see you de stressing. And your grip on the firearm is getting better. better. You're getting comfortable holding it. I can see that. Well. I took a picture of you so you can drool over it. Oh, oh God. She was yelling at me this morning, so. Ah. I'm like, you're making me hot. Ah. It gets her all pissed off even more. It's great. You're mean. I'm like, oh. And she's like, I'm mad at you. I can't even remember what it was about. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh. Joy of marriage. Huh? Joys of marriage. Uh, that seven. The seven. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Flinching. Are you getting ready to shoot? 
Yeah, they're kind of doing this. I can see it. I can see every time. I can tell when you're fixing to shoot. I can tell when you're going to pull the trigger because you're doing this. And you're getting ready to compensate. Just remember. Relax. Let it fire. That was better. Like I'm hitting the three. No, you're up at the two actually. Oh. Yeah. Well, so all those shots are those holes directly beneath the two. two. Yep. They're all right in that group. And then you, there are some that would drop. That's like you're. I got nervous again. Yeah. You, you, that's all it is. So you're shooting. You're compensating for one. And so you're shooting center mass. And then you try to compensate for that, and you shoot the right level. It's normal. Like, it's completely normal. It's not. So that's what, like, when I'm shooting steel, I'm trying to hurry myself. I'm trying. I'm trying to get a little bit faster, a little bit faster, because you know, it's a progression of learning. So right. you just get nervous about different things. You know. Yeah. But so that's what you're, you're correcting. I can see you correcting the things, and it's just getting used to correcting both of them at the same time. That'll be yeah. here. Okay. So instead of being you know, over here, you're... I just had to remember to relax. That's hard. You can, I'm not a naturally relaxed person. Now time to stress you out again. You'll get it. Let's go back to this one. Okay. This one is a little bit, you know, it's about half the length of the barrel. All right. It's a lot lighter. Feel that? All right. Oh, it, gosh, that's so much lighter. Very different built. How top heavy it is? Okay, yeah. It's very, this one's a very solid build. It's a solid frame. Loom okay. iron It's a. It's not a solid. It's not steel. It's a, some kind of composite or um, blend. It's alloy. That's what yeah. it's for. This polymer. Okay. Very thin. All of your. So what you call that is your bore axis. Bore axis. So you know your x y axis. So your bore axis is how where your barrel, the bore of your barrel, is. Okay. It's so like this gun. It's a little bit different design. Okay. See how small small this slide is in comparison to this? Yeah, it's much different. Because this slide rides inside of the frame. Okay. See it on the back. This slide rides over the frame. Okay. See the difference there? Yep. So there's more. The bore axis on this is already. Let's see how much. Let's see if I can get it. It's already lower. Okay. See how much higher it would be? Comparatively, okay. so th that's one of the benefits of this specific design. CZs are very, they're known for their low bore axis guns. They, they, the they shoot really well because of that. The slide rides in. So this one, all that weight that's traveling, that's your recoil, is a little bit higher. I mean, it's not, we're not talking an inch, but it's enough to feel. So the recoil on this is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be too bad. It's going to be feel different. It's not worse. Not any different. So this one, the controls are going to be a little bit different. No safety. No safety. And this is what it's called. It's striker fired. Okay. And all the safeties are in. They don't drop safety. So it can't accidentally go. But right. you pull the trigger, it'll fire. Okay. So, like I said, so no external safety. It's a striker fired gun, which means all the internals or all the striker and all that are internal. 
external hammer. There's technically no hammer in this gun. Okay. So it's all built in like that, which is, you know, for something, especially for a carry gun, it's kind of good, nothing to snag. All that kind of fun stuff. So like this is going to be striker fire, so polymer, striker fire gun. Your Glocks are going to be that same basic design. I mean, they basically perfected it and they started striker fire guns for the most part. Now this is the, you know, kind of the original, and they made these and started. So this is a car. This, can't even remember. I think they're, yeah, these are US made, if I remember correct. Yep. So they're, but yeah, that's the, that's the general differences. Other than that, pretty much everything's gonna be the same. It's gonna have a slide lock on it. It's a little bit harder to grab because this is a gun designed to be careful. So everything needs, needs to be sh Nothing needs to snag. Be nice and smooth and comfortable. You don't want lever digging into your side. So it's nice and it's close to the frame, but that does make it a little bit harder to grab. Okay. So one of the things you can do is if you have the magazine in, is you can do that. Okay. Instead of trying to use the slide lock, okay. it can be a little bit okay. annoying. Being honest, and then we got a single, you know, it's just it doesn't have a hammer. Your trigger pull is going to be just the same. It's got a little bit of creep, okay. a little bit more tension, and then so a little bit, and then it's going to engage, it's going to pull back, and then what they call the reset. Go almost all the way out. Okay. And then. Wow. And now it's ready to pull again. All right. Okay. All, all that stuff you're not really going to notice. Right. But still, it's good. Enough. But that's what's going on. Okay. This one. So got that single, you know, the double action. Yeah. That's going to all the way back. It's almost the same. It's a little bit more it's closer to this, the trigger pull of that, honestly. Okay. But then whenever the reset on this one. Very quick, and then from the reset, it's almost nothing. This one goes very boom, and then boom. Versus wow, yeah, almost all the way out, almost all the way back in. That's got a lot. Yeah, because once again, there's no, no external safety. Makes sense. So they want that trigger to be a little bit stronger because you don't want something snagging it. Right. You want it. Now you can clean up your trigger, which is they go and the, the fine tuned parts, replace springs, make it a little bit sharper, a little bit crisper, and maybe you know even do a shorter reset. But for something like this, it already. I like this gun because it already has a smooth trigger. It's a longer trigger. Right. But it's smooth. Glocks. I don't, I'm not a big fan of Glocks. One, because I don't like the way they feel. And two, I don't really like them. Now, you can put real triggers in Glocks. I mean, I had I shot one here. This is a dude that was shooting here. He had a 16th inch reset. All right. I mean, it was... Wow. That trigger was crazy. I mean, it was just... Bah, 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 bah. Wow. Cool gun. But, cost dollars for the trigger. The trigger was like $200. That's a lot for just a trigger. But this guy, I mean, it was a cut, you know, he customized his guns. Same as they do with cars. Right. But yeah, so. For this one, I like it. It's nice, smooth. Yeah. It's a good trigger. Okay. Not a short one, but it's a good trigger. So yeah, that's kind of, you're going to feel those differences. Those are your differences you're going to feel. Your magazine release, practically the same. Okay. That's, I mean, these are pretty much basic things for all semi automatic handguns. They're going to be very, very similar with those distinctions. You know, this is the kind of the the two op main options. You're going to have your strike fire, your hammer fire. So. Okay. Irene blowing you up. Uh, let's see. No, actually, it's my grandma. Your grandma. One of my students. I just got a job. One of your students. 
Eh, it's a kid. Oh. Uh, finally got a job. He's a former foster kid. Yeah, it just needs a little extra. A little extra attention. Mm -hmm. So, he's got a job now. So. Got him in the ILP programs. He's got a place to live. Yeah. Baby steps, but definitely got some steps for steps. <laughs> so, and he's your age. He's only 20. But, yeah, not at all like you. <laughs> not at all. I'll be honest, and this isn't even like, there's not a lot of 20 year olds, 21 year olds like me. No, no, there isn't. I I'm not your you standard 21. 21 year old. I figured you were in your late 20s, maybe 30. And then when I found out you're 21, I was like, what the hell? Right? He's only 21? I said, no, you're kidding me. Yeah. Okay, so you know, like Kid Fernando that used to do the sound. Yeah. You know he's like 30, right? Yeah. See, he would think, I would think of him as 20. Yeah. Because like the way he thinks. And he's. Not that you're not irritating. No. One of the joys of growing up in a pastor's house. Most pastor's kids are, yeah, kind of end up growing up. Or you don't grow up at all. There's just no in between. I mean, you have me, and then you have Kev. See, his sister is... The other main difference is this is a single stack magazine. Single stack. Okay. It is one stack of bullets. Now, why it is? Oh, okay. It's one. Oh, it's so this one. It's continually pressing down in one straight line. So this is kind of zigzag. This is kind of. Okay. I didn't know. Yeah. So you see, when we load the first one, it offsets it down here. Okay. And the second one offsets it here. Oh, okay. And that's, that's how, how you get so much in one. That's how whenever this is not California that's stupid, it, it's an 18 round magazine. Uh, okay, that makes, I didn't know. That's cool. Yeah, this gun should hold 18 rounds. California. Yeah. Stupid. I just get another magazine. Hey, at least it's not Connecticut. If I want to do bad things, I'm just going to do bad things. But this is true. Hey, hey, if I want to kill people, I'm going to make bombs. I'm not going to shoot them. Okay? If I just want to indiscriminately do it, I'm not gonna. Eh, so ineffective. But people, you know. Yeah, Connecticut's really bad because our friends over there, he has a few guns, and you have to register all of your ammo. And you can't have them so much. Yeah. They know. I'm like, how do I? He's like, you know what you buy, you have to register what you buy. I'm like, that's why you make it yourself and give them the middle finger. Well, they can shove it. That's Connecticut. That's why I have three felonies in my gun safe right now. Shove it and come and take it. I am a constitutionalist. <laughs> it's tyrannical, unconstitutional, and quite frankly, it's treasonous. In my humble opinion. Humble? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've even to the point, I, I am not, I'm not even messing around. I am actually of the honest belief if you're a police officer and you enforce gun laws, you're a traitor. Kind of true. So just because it's slavery was legal, doesn't make it right. It's true. But, now you Most, this is what my family uh, get-togethers are like. You just, uh, give it like five minutes and we're like, <laughs> Sarah's just probably like, yeah, she grew up with it. She even gets involved. In more on the politics side, not as much. On the side. She seems a little more politically. Not charged. so much on the guns. <laughs> now I want to go to your family reunion. They're fun. What a skirt. Do it again. What? Let's take a trip for a second. I can see a trip for a second. It's burning up out here. It's kind of nice to shave, huh? Do it again. And you're not putting some block on there. Alright, you're taking your tail. Your timber's too much. Well, what I didn't know is when you have ink, it burns. It's like the only place I put sunscreen. I'm just get a little bit. She, I mean, she's like, well, she's a girl. That's what they do. But I'm doing kung fu over here with sunscreen, trying to get it everywhere. And I'm like, wipe it off. 
Oh, it worked. You're, you're like, I'm good. Go. <laughs> we went to Disneyland last year and we were in the pool and I'm like, this is awful. I have to get out. I was like, why? I'm like, I'm burning. Mm-hmm. She's like, what do you mean that's burning? I'm like, <laughs> it's my punishment. All right, let's okay. go. How old is that? If I tell you. Yes! Here. How old no. is that? Yeah, I do. Well, that still looks fresh. It's a year old. I have issues, okay? Daniel, you can't please. judge me. I have major issues. Hey, Dad, you got the lever actor? Uh, That's how many hours it took. <laughs> Pain. Huh? How many hours? Go. And it's not done. I have a piece of this big on my leg, so. I have 21 hours. That's my favorite. You're a better artist. That took too long. Well, that's because of all the detail. Look at all the detail. Single Not needle. true. Single needle. True. True. I have issues, okay? I see that. All right. So like I said, I Travis. I almost passed out doing this one. Do it hard. Um, but I was also drinking too much and doing drugs. And so I was like already weak. Yeah, that's kind of my penis was trying. Oh, it did. But this one, her I have issues. We all do. Oh. Yeah, the body's in burning. I've only got eight months clean from cocaine, so. I ain't judging, buddy. I ain't judging at all. I thought that was good to eat. how little I know. Yeah. Well, hey. Found drugs that worked yesterday. That doesn't surprise me. I mean, I do like high school age. Come on. It's very available. The war on drugs is a joke. <laughs> yeah, it is. It yeah. really is. But it's just, you know, yeah. oh, we're not going to, yeah. Come on, kids are going to do stuff. So. Oh, yeah. Do so. They want to do it. They're going to do it. And somebody's going to give it to them. Oh, yeah. That's how it works. Yeah. All right. Okay. Shoot it. All right. I want to shoot steel. All right. Oh, yeah. This has a completely different fill. Okay. Yeah. So now. You got one in? Yep. Now pull this back. Pull it back. There you go. Oh, that's so different. Yep. It's very, it's a very different firearm. Oh, it's so light. Mm-hmm. I like the heavy. Alright, arm power, ammo, arm power pistol. Oh, here's 22. Oh, oh wow. Yep. Okay, I see what you're talking about now. Seven rounds in those. Seven? Yep. Okay. I think I stayed on the red. Yeah. You're on picture. So now, now you can there you go. Okay. Sometimes it's red, sometimes it's not. Just depends on the day. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, a little different. Huh? Yeah, it's a little different. I like that better. Yeah, I like that a lot better. This is to be fun. This is more designed to be fun to shoot. Yeah, this shot is, more. This is definitely more personal protection. Someone's coming up close. So, like, if you were looking when you were, eventually the goal is to get you something for the home. Right. You no, know, that's what I for yourself eventually. 
But so if you're gonna go for home, get one of these. And uh, something I suggest something with a rail. You can put a weapon. A weapon. Lock. Okay. So you can. You don't have to go around flipping on light switches. Is that big, yeah. You hear something. You just point it. You, if you light them, if you see them in the light. Fair enough. That way you're not holding flashlight. You're not okay. turning on the lights. Okay. I can't see at night. <laughs> so for your home, something like this, or even a shotgun. But so, you know, a shotgun a little bit more. Yeah, unsuitably. That's bulkier. And if you're confident with a pistol, it's a good round. Oh, and, I like that. I mean, this is cool. I like the way this looks, though. Yeah. That's easier to control. Yeah. Well, and I feel like my hands are so big. Well, you have big hands, too. But... Yeah, I got mitts. That's <laughs> fair. Yeah. yeah. I have bony fingers, yeah. but they're... I, I just got fat hands. Once well, you work with your hands all day. Yeah. My dad has a size 11 ring. Or a 14. Oh, he's a mechanic. Yeah. Mechanic. I mean, a lot of finger shrink. Yeah. Yeah, my 11's getting tight. Yeah. Are you ready to go down there? Yeah, I'm looking and I don't see anybody over there. But do you want to go down there? Yeah. Wanna go try it? Yeah. Alrighty. Well, actually, I'll let you go. Huh? Yeah, one more. Oh, okay. This one, you're not, it's not going to be fun. So it's not going to be fun? You're probably not going to shoot it a lot, but it's worth shooting a couple times. Okay. This one's kind of neat too because it's actually got a built in laser. Oh, I can't. That's how it works. I can't see it. I don't even think it's zoned. I don't even think it's accurate, but it's on there. Well, that's kind of cool. This one's a lot easier to load. Just kind of drop them in. Okay. Yeah, oh, that is pretty cool. Okay. And you don't want to do what they do in the movies. Which is. Well, oh, movies make everything look cool. Yeah. It's not, just not good for your gun. Something like that. Okay, now this one, you got, you know, you got finger grooves. A little bit different. You're gonna want to get a good grip on it. You want to keep your hand away from up here. One, because you have such a short barrel. Okay. Two, because when a revolver fires. There's actually a very small space in between the lockup. All right. See that? All right. Okay. There's a very little bit of space in there. So it actually blasts out oh. particulates. Okay. That with that, more come out of the muzzle. But this, there's that little bitty break because this is kind of almost part of the barrel. Okay. So there's that little, the, I mean, the okay. bullet sits right, right right there, so it doesn't travel hardly at all before it's in the barrel. But there is that little bit of gas and particulates that are going to come out either side. Okay. So like, if you were to hold your hand right here and you're fire, gonna... you'll feel it. It'll sting. Mm. Yeah. That's what they, um, you ever call it, like NCIS or whatever, they talk about powder burn? Yes. When someone gets shot up close? That's what they're talking about. Okay. Yeah, so you get powder burn shooting like this. So okay. if your hand, if you're holding it like this, you're gonna squirt. So it's not gonna so maim you or anything, but no, it's gonna be kind of sore. Yeah. yeah. So this one, I suggest you know, like, grab, grab your hand. Okay. It's kind of a different. The sights are a little bit different. They're not marked. Okay. And they're very shallow. There's not a lot, and then you got a long. Trigger, or, um, creep. A lot of trigger, and then it's gonna, it's gonna do this little. It's rotating the cylinder too. Okay. So if you watch the cylinder, 
So it moves. Okay, yeah. Get ready. All the way back. That's, good part. That's got a lot more sound to it. Yeah. And snubbies are just loud. Because all, not a lot of the explosion is contained. It's very open. Okay. So four more shots. All right. So keep my hand away from there. Yeah. Kind of do well, you don't have to avoid it like the plague, but yeah. Well, but yeah. Okay. As long as you're about by the trigger, you're good. Yeah. Yeah, that has a different a different feel to it. Wow, you feel it. I guess that's it. Wow. And then. Oh. Okay. Wow, it has a, such a different feel. Look at all that. Look at all the powder on it. Very cool. Huh, very cool. I might have a lot. And this is a five shot. Five shot revolver. You want to shoot again? Go ahead. Okay, so I pull that back. Oh, push, push it, it in. Forward. Yeah. forward. Forward. Okay, and then it's ready? Hey. Ready. Wow. That's it. Pull your hook off the trigger. Sorry. <laughs> I can't even see what. Am I hitting yeah, the so nine? It starts getting hard to track them after you get so many holes. All right. Uh, you're slightly up and left. That's a pretty good group. Huh? That's a pretty good group. So. Where, okay, where, you seen where I was shooting. I yeah. couldn't. So, so the okay. eight, you're going to go up the left corner of the eight circle. Okay. See those three shots right there? They're a little bit bigger. Uh, over here on the left, yeah. Oh, okay. So three shots. All right. And then the two by the seven. Oh. Okay. This has definitely got a different. Yeah. Different feel. This is cool though. I like this. Still like the other one. That's that's the most fun shooting gun I have. Oh. This is pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, more shoot more. Shoot more. No, oh, we're good. I know you want to go down there. So. And then you just close it back. Like that. back. That's it.